everyone so uh well i woke up very early today it's been raining a lot in my place the mornings are very chilly and the views are really great it's just outside my window you can see cornfields you can see huge river down them the mornings are great over here well it was quite funny recording myself this early because this is actually the time when i go to bed at university hmm well anyways i'm heading towards that foggy mountain to sangizong for a very special buddhist occasion we have choikor and it's about a place is about an hour away the first time i attended was like several years back and this is my second time so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> well, now I'm very excited to wear Shinka for the occasion and I'm very excited to take you through the process and the materials that we have. So first we have uh, the sleeveless red gown of white stripes which has a very rough uh, material and next there's Tenkema, the colorful um, Thing, square thing that you tie at the rear of the waist and here we have kitchen uh, a long fabric that you wrap around your waist neatly and we have a couple of overcoats a white and a red one a very beautifully embroidered ones and um, jewelry of course so that's a typical shinkara <laughs> Now we are heading to Zongze. That's the main procession hall in which all the Hollywood scriptures are kept and it's where the event also starts. So we're gonna each get a holly book and since it's raining we each also got a plastic to wrap the book. We have that white fabric that we put the book in and support in our head and carry on our back. So we're making the uh, knots at the end of the book and the fabric and we're also making the knots at the ends of the fabric to support on our head. And that's the final look of the charcoal. I don't get attention in the Did they put it? Um, we celebrate Chukur on the 15th of the third lunar month and it's always organized by the entire village community to offer supernatural protection to the crop song um, for a good harvest and to drive away evil spirits. And since the place is pretty huge and people are like scattered everywhere, we're gonna make several stops around the nooks and corners of Sengizong, offering a prayer to God and dancing to the beats of the drums and currently we are making stop and it's the first stop at Zingzi which is right below Zongzi and we are just having some warm teas and then we're gonna head up to the next <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we are going to our second stop, which is Mante. The second most important part of Sangazong. It took us like 20 25 minutes to get here. And now we're gonna take some little break before we head out again. So we stopped at Dongsum for lunch break. The uphill hike was literally, I think, close to a kilometer, and also the trail was quite muddy. So I'm glad we had a break. And now we're heading out to the next stop. And I was plucking some strawberries on my way. I actually grew up eating strawberries in Sengizong. So yeah, you just get strawberries everywhere here. <laughs> Ali, Ali, Ali. 
We have to keep the holy books back in the hall and that's the end of the chapter. I hope you liked it and let me know your queries or anything you are interested in the comment section and have a good day.